just tell you, Mice, when I first got married, um, my wife is, uh, I'm from Chicago, as you can tell by lack of any traceable accent, and my wife is from Columbus, Ohio. And uh, we had to drive, we were married for about two weeks, and we had to drive from Chicago to Columbus. And when you leave Chicago, it's about a seven hour drive on I-70. When you leave Chicago, there's a, like, a 12 lane superhighway on the way out. My father always Shalom sat down with me and explained to me, it was one of those, you know, get into the second lane from the right, and then you have to flip over to the fifth lane from the left, one of those jobs. And he explained to me for about 10 minutes, after 10 minutes, he said, you got it? And I said, yeah, and we, we both knew I didn't. And my wife and I get into the car, it's about 10.30 at night, and we start driving to Columbus. And after about an hour and a half of driving, we see a sign that says Detroit, 235 miles. Now that's bad because Chicago is here and Columbus is here and Detroit is here. So we got off the highway, it's midnight, and we pull into a truck stop. And uh, it's midnight, I guess I look Jewish. And I walk in, there's a lady behind the counter, and I said to her, hi, uh, can you please tell me how to get to Columbus? She goes, well, just a second. She goes, Roy. She called out one of the truckers. This guy looked like he stepped off the cover of Truckers Magazine. He had the mutton chop sideburns. He had a beer in one hand, a McDonald's cheeseburger in the other, a Marlboro in his mouth. And she says, Roy, can you tell this guy how to get to Columbus? So Roy says to me, uh, Will, where are you coming from? I said, uh, uh, Chicago. He goes, Chicago? Chicago? Boy, are you messed up. <laughs> Right. And then he thought it was really amusing, and he called all the other truckers. He said, Roy, they're all named Roy, by the way. He called Roy's, they, they all came in. This guy's coming from Chicago. So I, I wasn't amused. But I learned, uh, I learned from my friend Roy that in life, you have to know where you're going and how to get there. And parents have to know that they have to have a goal. They have to clearly define goal in order to be able to pass over to Missouri to their children. Parents have to have a goal. And without knowing what the goal is uh, and clear values that are established in a home where children can look at the parents and they see what the parents' values are and it can be passed on both through action, which most of Yiddishkeit is, kids see what parents do in the home, and verbally, whatever the communication is, but there has to be a very, very clearly defined goal.